What's up y'all? This is Andy Story with Wild Lumens and today we're gonna do the amazing chicken egg versus duck egg challenge. I didn't know much about duck eggs because growing up chicken eggs seemed to be the go-to and even as I'm on the carnivore diet now I've been always using chicken eggs for my meals. But what got me on this whole entire path of investigating duck eggs was my friend Big Sai over at Primal Omad YouTube channel. Big Sai is a serious motivator for me and a true inspiration because this guy is doing a one meal a day carnivore diet style approach to losing weight and becoming healthier. Big Sai lives over in the UK and what I have found is that he uses duck eggs and goose eggs predominantly as his go-to eggs in his diet. So so I was like, hmm, I wonder what's up with all those duck eggs. Are they better? Do they taste different? What's the deal? So that's why today we're doing a full-on investigation of duck eggs and how they compare to chicken eggs. Let's check it out. The first thing I want to do is do a quick little comparison between the two eggs. Here I have a chicken egg and here I have a duck egg. Now, looking at them closely, you can tell they're different in size. The duck egg is about, I would say, 20 to 30% larger than the chicken egg. So what does that mean when it comes to nutrition? Hmm, it's a great question. I did a little bit of research. I went to modernfarmer.com and paleoleap.com, two blogs on the internet, to see what they had to say. These are my quick little notes which I think you'll find to be helpful. Duck eggs are larger by about 50%, but from my little comparison, I don't believe they're 50%, maybe closer to 30, 40%. The duck egg has a thicker shell, bigger yolk, and is higher in both fat and cholesterol. The crazy thing about duck eggs and ducks in general is that they're way more carnivorous than chickens because they're gonna be outside eating slugs, snails, little bugs, critters. They definitely get a lot more protein in their diet, so maybe that translates into more protein and more of a nutrient-dense carnivor carnivorous uh, egg in general. I don't know, it's possible. The other thing is they mention that duck eggs contain more protein than the chicken eggs uh, by approximately 20 to 30% more. Uh, the other cool thing about duck eggs is that they're more nutrient dense in all of these uh, vitamins and nutrients, including omega-3, vitamin A, vitamin D, fatty acids, choline, folate, and iron. When we're looking at these two eggs, it's quite obvious that the duck eggs are going to be the superior nutritional source of vitamins and minerals, proteins, cholesterol, and all that good stuff. So I'm really glad that Big Sai has turned me on to these. Uh, I haven't had a duck egg for, I have no idea, it's been a while. So we're going to do a taste test challenge as well. And what I mean by that is I want to do a side-by-side -side taste test comparison. I'm gonna do omelets and over easy. So what I'm gonna do is a three egg chicken omelet and then a three egg duck omelet, see how they taste. And then I'm also gonna do a chicken egg over easy and then a duck egg over easy to see if I can taste a difference. Now I'm, I've been told that the duck eggs have a little bit of a, a stronger eggy taste. So we'll see if that's true or not. I just started using rendered duck fat as it was suggested by a chef friend of mine. He was basically telling me that it's way more palatable. It tastes a little better than tallow. So I went ahead, shot over to Whole Foods, picked up this epic duck rendered fat, and I've been cooking with it ever since. And I can say I, I do like it better than tallow now. I don't know about the nutritional qualities, if it's gonna be better than, say, a tallow, but for right now, uh, I just really like it. Check it out, guys. Here are our eggs that we'll be cooking with today and the rendered duck fat. 
Go ahead and pick up this rendered duck fat and let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you use it? Do you like it? Do you think it's better than tallow? Now these eggs here, we should probably talk about price. These eggs, these chicken eggs were five, no, $4.99 for the dozen. And the duck eggs were a little bit more expensive at $6.99 uh, for the dozen. Now I've heard that they can get a little on the pricier side at farmer's markets all the way up to about $12 for a dozen. So you're looking at a dollar per egg, but I'm sure you can source them and get a better deal if you look around town. All right, here we go. We've got some chicken eggs. Gonna start working on the omelets. Bam, three chicken eggs ready to get mixed. Now, let's try the duck eggs. Oh yeah, you can totally tell that that shell is a lot thicker than the chicken egg. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Here we have our chicken eggs. And over here we have our duck eggs. And side by side, they look very similar. Obviously you can tell the duck eggs are larger. Forgot to mention, I do add a little bit of milk to my omelets when I'm making them as it makes them a little fluffier. Now I usually use raw milk, but I wasn't able to source raw milk. So I used a different milk called A2 Guernsey, which was low heat vat pasteurized. Check that out. So it's not raw, but I think it's the closest thing to raw. Here we go guys, a little bit of Kerrygold grass fed butter. I just add it for the taste. Uh, I like the buttery taste in the omelet. You can kind of taste it. So it's uh, only for taste at this point. Otherwise I could have just used the duck fat. All right, gonna go ahead and get this chicken egg omelet out of the way first. All right, guys, I'm adding a little bit of cheese just to make it taste a little bit better. Hopefully it doesn't take out too much of the taste so I can't distinguish between the duck egg and the chicken egg omelet. All right, I finished the chicken egg omelet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make the duck egg omelet. I already put my duck fat in there just waiting for this butter to melt and then I'll go ahead and pour in that omelet and cook that bad boy up. All right, the duck egg omelet is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of cheese. Like I was saying before, an omelet's gotta have something in it. So let's go ahead and put some cheese. At least this way it won't, uh, if I was to put in some bacon or some other kind of meat in it, it would probably overpower the uh, taste, so I wouldn't be able to tell the difference as easily between the two uh, omelets. Wow, you can already tell this omelet's way bigger than the three egg chicken omelet, which is kind of obvious since the duck eggs are so much bigger. All right, the duck egg omelet has been cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and place that on the plate and then start the sunny side up eggs. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit of duck fat to the pan and then get the sunny side eggs going. I should mention, I think I made a mistake in the beginning. I said it was gonna be over easy, but our eggs are gonna be cooked sunny side up. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this chicken egg first. And a little trick that I learned a few years ago when cooking your eggs sunny side up is you can put a container over it and then this way it cooks the overall egg a lot more uh, equally. I like my yolk nice and uh, raw. Okay, our egg is done. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the plate, get the duck egg over here, cook that up, and then we should be good to go for the taste test. All right, here we go with the duck egg. Add my cover, let this guy cook for a minute or two. All right, that was quick and easy. I have this duck egg ready to go. Let's go ahead and look at that while it's still cooking. Mmm, looks beautiful. Let's look at these beauties. Here we have the duck eggs. Here we have the chicken eggs. I'm not sure if you can tell in the video, but the duck eggs are definitely look a little bit bigger. I overcooked the omelet a tad on the duck eggs, but it is what it is. I'm not a chef. I'm a novice cook, if you want to call it anything. Let's go ahead and do our taste test challenge to see who wins. 
All right, it's time to rock and roll with the taste test. But before we move forward, if this is the kind of content that you dig, ancestral diet, carnivore diet, keto carnivore, whatever, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a like and drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you prefer chicken eggs or duck eggs or if you have any suggestions. Without further ado, let's get to eating. I'm gonna go ahead and try the sunny side eggs first. Oh, and I should also suggest that I always use Redmond Sea Salt. This is my favorite brand. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a link in the description below. And if you use Wild at checkout, I believe you'll get a 15% discount. So go ahead and stock up. I always buy this in bulk in the 10 pound container because I go through so much salt every month. Uh, the carnivore diet advocates and doctors are usually recommending six to 10 grams per day, which seems like a lot. But let's go ahead and put a little bit on our eggs. First up, I'm gonna try the chicken egg. Cooked to perfection, really tastes good. Now I have that taste in my mouth. I have an idea, I dig it. Now let's try the duck egg. I'm trying to get a little bit of yolk and a little bit of whites. I'm digging into this like a real carnivore. You know what's crazy is it's not, it's not that big of a difference in taste. I was expecting them a way, I don't know, more gamey or stronger uh, grassy taste maybe, but it's really not that big a deal. I think, I think what we have is two eggs that taste very similar, slight variation, but the duck eggs are bigger and more nutritious. And in my book, go big or go home, right? All right, let's go ahead and try the egg omelet, a chicken egg omelet, I should say. Yeah, it's really good actually. Let's try the duck egg omelet. See if I can tell the difference. Just like the sunny side up eggs, it's just a slight variance in taste. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But then again, I lost the ribeye taste test challenge where I did a grass-fed ribeye from Whole Foods versus a uh, grass-fed grain finished ribeye from Costco where Emily, my brother's girlfriend and my brother and we did that challenge, blindfold taste test challenge. Check out that video. Uh, those two could taste the difference between and, and guessed correctly, whereas me, I couldn't tell the difference. So I think my taste buds are not very keen, hence the reason I could probably never be a chef. But long story short, you guys, these eggs are good. Go ahead and try the duck eggs. Based on the side-by-side -side comparison, the duck eggs are gonna be way more nutritious. They're a little pricier, but what you're getting is a bigger egg more mass, more nutrition, more minerals, more density, uh, a bigger yolk. Uh, so from a cost perspective, it's not that big of a difference between the chicken eggs and the duck eggs. So if you get a chance and you're in the US and you're not used to using, eating duck eggs, try them out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you liking them or are you not liking them? I'm really pleased with our investigation today. And if you have time, go check out Big Psy, my friend over at the YouTube channel, Primal Omad. That's Primal Omad. Omad stands for one meal a day. And you can see his amazing journey and transformation. I think you'll be inspired. Tell him Andy sent you in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next video because I'm off to go make something super, super tasty and interesting, which you'll see in the near future. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.